how to connect your active campaign email account to your Thinkific account. Now there's a few steps that you need to go through when you are connecting a brand new Thinkific site with a brand new active campaign account. And especially if you want to have the system send emails automatically to your students or do things in your active campaign based on the student taking certain actions inside Thinkific. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're first of all going to set up a few things inside your active campaign account just so that we can get a, get a few things in place. So when you log into your main active campaign account dashboard, the next thing you're going to do is click on settings. Now, if you've never done anything inside your active campaign account before, the first thing you're going to need to do is actually add in your address. So you can go to add an address. And the reason why you need this is because an email address, sorry, a physical address has to go on the bottom of every single email in order for you to be compliant with various anti-spam laws. So first of all, stick in your company name and then pop in your address. Now, you don't want to be giving people your personal home address, so um, just be careful how you write your address out here um, because your address will automatically, by default, go out on every single email you send. So obviously, if you have a physical office address, pop that down. If you work from home, you say, this isn't legal advice, but what I do, um, I've got a PO box address, before I had a PO box address, I used to just put my city, 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 state and postcode. So I'm going to pop that in and then you press add address. Okay, once you've added an address, the next thing you want to do is go to your lists because you need to create a list where all of your people are going to be added to. So go to lists. And from there, quite simply going to add a list and this will be either your business name or your personal name, depending on what it is that you've actually called your system. Um, I also recommend what I actually do is I put my first name. So mine is Sarah Cordner Dash Main Training so that people know it's from me. This, that's the name that they know, uh, but it's got the legal business name in there as well. So that's what I'm going to do for Paul here, who's given me permission to share his account. Um, and then you want to put your website URL in here. So I'm going to put in um, Paul's name, um, the name of his company in brackets. Um, pop in your website URL here. If you don't have a website URL, then put your Thinkific URL in there. And then you just put a little uh, notice here of how people got onto your list. So I might put something like, thank you for joining my online school or thank you for joining my email community. So pop that in and then simply press add. Now, once you've created a list and you only need to create one, we are then going to head on over to Thinkific and um, just start connecting these two accounts together. So first of all, we're going to go to Market and Sell. We're going to click on Integrations. And when we are on Integrations, skip down to Email Marketing and find Active Campaign. Now we need to get the API key and the API URL from Active Campaign and paste them into Thinkific here. So I'm going to switch back to Active Campaign now. And we are going to go to, I'm just going to show you the full from the home page here so it's easier for you to see. But we are going to go back to Settings, click on Settings. And when it loads, <laughs> you are then going to go, first of all, to developer. And you will see here that we have the developer URL and the API key. So I'm going to grab the URL, first of all, and make sure that the URL goes in the URL. Then back to active campaign to get the API key. Ooh. Grab that key, copy and then API key, paste it in there and press save. Now go back to email marketing, scroll back down to active campaign. Now you'll know when that's worked because now you will have an edit button here. So click on edit and now we have to do um, a few extra things in order to get these two doing site tracking. So now um, inside Thinkific, we need to grab a few more things from Active Campaign to paste in here. So first of all, we're going to go back to um, Active Campaign and uh, we are going to go to now the tracking option here on the left hand side. 
So first of all, we've got, we've got to do something called whitelist a URL. Now that is the URL of the Thinkific school. So simply grab the Thinkific school URL, copy that, don't get all these manage integrations bit, just the name thinkific.com. Go back to active campaign and put the Thinkific URL of your school inside this website URL here, include all web pages, yes, and then add. Then you should have this thing here called tracking code. Grab the entire tracking code and copy that from Active Campaign. Go back to Thinkific and paste that Active Campaign tracking code inside Thinkific and press save. Now we need to create events tracking. So we're still inside Thinkific here um, and we need to get the event key and the event ACTID from Active Campaign. Okay, so now we're going to go into Active Campaign. We are still inside tracking in Active Campaign and we are going to press tracking status on. So now that needs to be turned on. When it turns on, you will be given an event key. So I am going to copy this event key and paste the event key into Thinkific. Now I need the event ACTID from Active Campaign. So I'm going to go back to Active Campaign now, click on Event Tracking API, and you will have this ACTID. Grab that number there, just the number only, press copy, go back to your Thinkific, and paste that in there. Press save. And when it is working, you will be able to turn on all of these events. And I want you to just turn all of them to active. And that is done. So now that will all be connected. Um, and the reason how you will know that it's connected is go to, um, go to automations, because this is what I'd like you to do now. Create an automation. Start from scratch, press continue. Then I want you to put event is recorded, continue. And you should now see that you have all these options and you want to find enrolled in and then the name of the course. So let's just find it enrolled in and then the name of the course that you are working on. Press add start. The next thing you're going to do is go to conditions and workflow. No, you're not. You're going to go to contacts <laughs> and you're going to go to subscribe. Subscribe to the email list. Press save. Then add contacts. Add a tag and you want the tag to be this, okay? So square bracket, student has enrolled in, and then the name of the course, course in Thinkific, close brackets. So student, uh, square bracket, student has enrolled in, name of course, course inside Thinkific, save, and then add conditions and workflow, end this automation. Then up here, you want to give the automation a name, the name of the course, stop, pay, delay. So the, the name of the automation is the name of the online course, okay? Then you're gonna press active, so that should now show the green button, done. That is now how you connect your Thinkific Online School with your Active Campaign and set it all up so that you now have your students who sign up to your Thinkific School will now be automatically added to an email list inside Active Campaign um, and you will be able to now set up um, sweet sequences and emails. So for instance, you could now press add and you could add emails to this to welcome them to the course and everything else thereon. But this uh, tutorial is just how to connect together. That's how you do that.